In this session, we want to talk about configuring enforcement rules for app lockup. There are two enforcement rules that we need to configure. One is called enforce and the other is called audit only. When the app locker policy rule is configured for enforcement, it means that the rules are enforced and all events are audited. If the policy is set to audit only, the rules are simply evaluated and events are returned to the app locker log, but no enforcement takes place. So if you set the policy to audit only, no enforcement, but the administrator can go to the log and he can see what's happening with the program, whether or not you have accessed the program. And then enforce, the rules are enforced. And if it is that you are denied access to the program, then that rule will be enforced. If you are allowed access to the program, that rule that you set would be enforced. Let us look at the modes for enforcement. The default setting is that enforcement is not configured. If you have a policy that is linked to your container and that policy contains a different setting, that setting is used once you did not configure enforcement mode. If you have rules that are present in the corresponding rule collection, those rules are enforced. Then you have the setting enforce rules. Once you select enforce rules, then your rules are enforced. The third setting that we have here is audit only. It means that your rules are being audited, but they are not being enforced. When the app locker policy for a rule collection is set to audit only, rules for that rule collection are not enforced. When the user runs the application that is affected by an app locker rule, information about that application is added to the app locker event log. Let us take a look at how we would enforce the app locker enforcement rule. To configure the enforcement for the app locker policy, we want to edit the app locker policy that we configured in the previous session. So we're going to right click on app locker. We click on edit, computer configuration, policies, window settings, security settings, and we come down to application control policies. And we want to double click on application control policies. And then we want to expand application control policies in the left pane and expand app locker. We're going to double click on app locker. And in the right hand pane, we see the link for configure rule enforcement. So we click on that link, configure rule enforcement. And here we have the different types of rules for app locker. And the rule that we had set was an executable rule. So that is the one we want to configure. So we're going to click on configured. And then you have the option of clicking on the down arrow and choosing audit only 
or enforce rules. If you have set other rules, if you have configured, for example, the script rule or the package rule, then you would want to configure enforcement for those rules also. That is the end of this session. I want to thank you for listening.